Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. It's December 29th of the 2022. Yeah. Uh, so today I'm just going to do a bonus extra question that I haven't done before. Um, yeah. So, okay. So I, I won't have a difficulty limiter. So we'll see. Maybe it'll be hard. Maybe it'll be easy. Maybe it'll be a medium. And today's problem is going to be a medium, 672, a Bob switcher. So I'm trying to do one that I haven't done before, um, at least on lead code, because, you know, not, I've done a lot of problems, I suppose. Got 99 problems, but this ain't one. Or the other way, maybe. Um, what is going on in my Discord? Okay, so 672 Bob Switcher 2. So there's a room with N Bobs labeled 1 from N. So 1 flips all the Bobs, 2 flips all the 2s, 3 flips all the 3, 4 flips all the 4s, maybe? Probably? Yeah, 4 flips all the 4s. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. I, I misread this. <laughs> I, I just saw the two and then the three. But no, it, so two is even, three is odd, and four is this funky 3k plus one. So one, four, seven, ten. Okay, so there are only four buttons. It's not end buttons. Okay, I was thinking of something else for some reason. You must make exactly press buttons in total uh, for each. You can pick up the, 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 the number of possibilities of status after all four. Okay, so the first thing I do is look at the, the constraints, to be honest, see if I can stimulate it, right? Stimulate it? Simulate it, right? Uh, meaning try all possibilities. And of course, given that there are four to uh, a thousand possibilities, uh, or like if you simulate it in a very naive, you know, recursive way, it'll be four to a thousand and that'll be too slow. So, okay. But given the n is a thousand, we'll see how that goes. Um, okay. Hmm. I don't really have any idea off my head, but hmm, this one is also a way. Hmm. I'm also trying to think. Uh, let me, let me, I'm just trying to think about case analysis, right? So. Okay, so we're given a thousand presses. But they're not a thousand unique presses, right? Because this one, one, two, four flips. So that means that in the worst case, um, I have to do some maths around this because we have to press exactly press this time. But what I mean is that it's not unique because each one of these can be, you know, it's binary, right? So there's only two to the four, which is 16 possibilities. Um, in the most, um, right? Yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. I guess that's the answer. Um, well, I mean, the answer is not 16, but you can simulate up to 16. So but the way I, the reason why I say this, and I, th I think I kind of jumped ahead in my head, sorry about that, but because turning this, if you flip the same button twice, it turns it from all, it 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 uh it reverses your action right so if you flip something twice the same button it does nothing that's basically uh, what I'm trying to say here right and so and so um so if you think about so no matter how many times you can only flip about this zero or one times right so okay so you have 16 possibilities because you have two to the four possibilities right each button can be pressed or not pressed in the end state and then the, the end result is just making it whether it is possible to get to those state um meaning that and this is going to be a case analysis where presses is going to be for example presses is a odd number you know you're, you cannot only have one button flipped at the way end. Oh, sorry, the other way around. But you get the idea, right? There's some parody um, out. There's some idea about parody that we have to check. And then there's also the other idea being that if presses is less than like four, then you, or, or something like that, right? Like if you only have one press, you cannot have three presses on, even though know, that is possible in theory, right? And then of course, um, some of these are equivalent classes for example, in this case, maybe only for small ends, though. I, I don't know that. Well, for ends, 
I mean, you could even reduce it some more in that given a thousand, you could take, um, I don't know, may maybe, uh, what is this, four, seven, ten, I don't know. But like, there's some like weird, like GCD, LCME thing that you can probably even further reduce this from a thousand. But, uh, but I don't think that's necessary. So, um, so let, we don't, let's not worry about that for now. I mean, we can maybe do it for uh, extra credit, but yeah. So, okay, so I think we have to, the answer here, except for that it, it's, it is not gonna lie. Uh, you have to be careful to get all the cases. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but I think we have the idea and we can, right, we can go for it, right? So, okay. So basically, all right, let, let's try, you know, you, Hmm. I, I'm gonna write this really dumb. Usually, I, I, uh, just for teaching purposes, the way that I would probably normally write this if I was just solving it for myself or in a competition or something like that, um, uh, I would probably use a bit mask to be honest, and then just loop through the bit mask. Not gonna go over bit mask today, so uh, oh, I, I don't really feel like it. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll we'll, we'll uh, just do this thing, I guess, right? Um, and we can do it in a number of ways, but hmm, should be okay. So yeah, for example, for bun one in, um, or true force, maybe, I don't know. doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll write it this way for now. And then maybe I will change it a little bit in a little, in a, uh, in a rewrite or something. Right, so this is basically just saying for each button that's on and off. Okay, fine. Uh, let's just go, fine. Let's just make it true for us. And maybe there's a cleaner way to write this, but like I said, I'm just kind of writing this to illustrate what I mean. Um, okay, so then count is equal to um, int of b1 plus int of b2 plus int of b3 plus int of b4, right? Um, and this is, of course, just converting it from true and false to one and zeros. So then basically, if count is less than or equal to presses, and presses mod two is equal to count mod two, then we do the simulation. You can actually optimize this in different ways. Um, I'm not going to for, for um, I don't know. There's no reason. I don't want to prematurely optimize, but I think these two are, at, maybe sufficient i don't know if they're sufficient or i want to say they're probably sufficient but I, I don't know for sure that they're sufficient for um for now so we'll see give me uh so we'll, we'll see how that goes but yeah but otherwise you mm, i'm just thinking right now how to um Well, there's only 16 of them, right? Like we said, so we don't... I, I was thinking about optimizing like a, a hash table or something like that, but I think we don't have to because uh, we can just use a regular like scene, for example. Um, because like I said, there's only 16 of them. I was thinking in my head that there might be more and you have a thousand elements and it's kind of awkward, but no, we don't have to worry about it, I think. This is just 16 times this, right? So yeah, so then now what we're doing is just... Yeah, like, uh, what's it, lights is what we're doing, bobs. Is equal to force oops, times uh, n, right? And then we literally go, if b1, then we flip all, all the bobs, right? Um, uh, not x for x in bobs, right? If b2, bobs equals, um, hmm. Uh, not x for x in, uh, for x, mm, for i, x, mm, uh, maybe I have to write it in another way, I don't know. Um, hmm. Can I write this in one thing? Eh, it's a little bit awkward, but, um, x if, eh. Uh, maybe I should probably shouldn't do this in one line here, but uh, well. uh, it goes even, right? So L is X, right? Uh, this is the same except for odds. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. Hmm. 
Oops. Um, and it's not. It's probably not great. And then Bob's just the same except for it's three k minus one, right? Three uh, k plus one. So it's just mod three. Or mod three is equal to one, right? Okay. And then we just add it to. Uh, yeah, we just add this as a tuple to scene. So because we make it a tuple so that it's hashable. And then at the way end, we return the length of scene. Oh no, it gets to this one wrong. So one press, do, 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 do. hmm. Hmm, that's weird. I would imagine it, oh, it outputs three, not four. So one of these is wrong, maybe. Uh, hmm. Well, let's take a look. I thought it was I thought it was outputting one, which is why I was like very confused. Um, okay, so it huh, that confused on and off. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> it it should be just unit. Okay, so hmm. Did I miss with this flips the switch? No, that's okay. Uh, okay, so basically, this is the switch one, this is switch two, mm, this is switch three, so we're definitely missing switch four. Did I miss a typo somewhere? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, flipping. So we definitely flip this. Let's see. It may be that I have a typo, it's fine. But I don't see it though. Hmm. Force, force, force. Oh, I did have a typo. So, wait. Oh, it's still in. Uh, I actually messed it up. Um, it just happens that I got lucky on the other one. Is that these are labeled from one to n and not from zero to n minus one? Huh. That is actually annoying. Hmm. Okay. So then now, I mean, we could fix this. That means that in a zero index, this is zero, and this is zero, and and this is one. I think that's pretty much it, really. Uh, okay. I, I I was counting from zero to um. I was counting from uh, what you might call it. Um, one index for one of these and not the other one. That's why. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit slow, but we, we could have made it better because you can, eh, not going to go over it. Um, yeah, as we said, this is, I don't know, it depends how you want to say it. This is constant time or maybe all of N if you want to say that. But even then, there's a cycle to this. So you can probably can uh, update this all of one and not be bounded by n if you really want to um especially now that i because i was a little confused about um I, I was a little bit confused only from from um yeah i think like either six or 12 I, items probably good um and you could maybe prove that i i'm not going to um i was only a little confused because i looked at these numbers and I confused zero index and one index in my head, but yeah, but you can think about this as O of one and and if you do bound this, then it will be O of one as well. So yeah, um, maybe we could play around with this. So n is equal to no because if n is seventeen, then what happens? Hmm. And there's a cycle plus, and so you have to do a little bit more complicated, but. Um, or something like that. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you find this interesting. Um, I think sometimes, you know, so, uh, I know that if you have done enough problems, and this is actually not a premium question, by the way. So I never get questions when, when I, you know, but uh, but yeah, this is not even a premium question. But uh, but the thing is that, you know, constraints they give you is fine, but sometimes you have to look at the, the constraints given by the problem itself. And in this one, the tricky part is, the buttons and try to figure out how many different possible things there are really right so yeah um 
That's all I have for this one. That's all I have for tonight. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.